In this research article, we have discussed about structure stability relationship of two paralogous proteins, cardiotoxin 1 and neurotoxin 2 from venom of Naja Naja. The CTX1 and NTX2 are belonging to three finger toxin superfamily and they have similar primary, secondary, and tertiary structures to each other. However, the two proteins are drastically differing in their biological function and structural stabilities. We have herein studied temperature induced unfolding events of the CTX1 and NDX2 at different temperatures in near physiological conditions by means of all atom molecular dynamic simulations for 25 nanoseconds. Overall structural changes and distinct events occurring in the unfolding kinetics of the two proteins would be monitored through the changes in backbone RMSD, RMSF, radius of gyration, solvent accessible surface area and as well changes in the secondary structural contents. The data analysis clearly revealed that the most stable and most flexible regions of the structurally similar proteins are different from each other. Globular head along with a significant portion of the triple standard domain and a tip of loop 2 were identified to be most stable and most flexible regions of the CTX1 respectively. Various globular head along with a brief portions of triple standard domain and tip of loop 1 combined with the C terminal were found to be most stable and the most flexible region of NTX2 respectively. In this slide, snapshots of crucial conformations evolved at different dynamic time scales are shown for both of the proteins at 473 Kelvin. From a quick inspection to the figure, one can easily understand that CTX1 could be uniformly stable with the exceptions of loop movements. In contrast, the structure of NTX could be drastically destabilized at this temperature and the order of destabilizing events are shown herein. First, the loop 1 and C terminus were highly mobile in the very beginning of the simulation and short alpha helical turn present in the loop 2 was lost around 1.5 nanosecond. Second, the C terminus moved away from the cleft region of the protein at 4 nanosecond. Third, double stranded domain was remarkably disrupted at 8 nanosecond. Fourth, the strand 5 began to melt at 13.8 nanosecond and fully lost its structure around 18.8 nanosecond. Obviously, while CTX1 retained native like structure even at 473 Kelvin, the NTX2 began to unfold by loosening native structural interactions of the residues located in the C terminus and the N terminus of the protein. Interestingly, we found that network interactions between N and C termini regions CN network is unique structural feature of all the CTXs and NTXs. Okay. In order to thoroughly investigate the relationship between CN network and stabilities of three finger toxins, the CN network of 45 non-redundant 3D structures of CTXs and NTXs available to date in PDB were probed in terms of residue-residue contacts, hydrogen bonds, lanard jones energies and Coulomb potential resolved at individual residues and the results are depicted in the slide. Due to the time limitations, I am not presenting those details herein. The data suggests that stronger the CN network, stronger the stability of three finger toxins. For instance, the CA network values of the 2 CRT and 1 COD are 7 and 2 respectively, implying that 2 CRT should be stronger in its structural stability than that of 1 COD. The predicted results is in good agreement with experimental data. The present work demonstrates that destabilization of the CA network is a prerequisite event to initiate the unfolding event of three-finger toxin. Thank you very much.